Ja, es ist irre. Also ich, ich habe Fotos angeschaut, da hat man gesehen, wie die ganzen Leute angestanden sind. Und da ist die ganze Straße voll gewesen. Ich habe noch in der Zeitung noch gelesen, dass beim Fußballspiel waren dann 4600 Leute. Und dann habe ich gedacht, okay, da sind bei uns jetzt schon mehr Leute wie im Fußball. Und das ist schon, das ist dann schon ein ganz tolles Gefühl. In fact, a new record for American football in Europe was set. As 6500 people wanted to see Europe's two best teams fighting for the ultimate prize. Longtime fans and first time viewers alike streamed into Tivoli Stadium. There was a buzz in the air. But inside the locker room, the tension was about to explode. Last game. Last game. If we want to win, we got to stop the run. We got to get pressure with four guys. They're, they're little butterballs over there. All right, they're, they're centers, got a big gut. I don't think, and he needs help all the time. Let's make him get it. Let's make him get help. We'll do some twists, we'll do some slants. Tell me what you see, and we'll make it happen, all right? Focus. Who gives a shit what the camera's doing? Focus. We got a game. Last time we got on this field, we lost focus in the second half. Guys, hey, pride. Have some pride. You got a lot of history. You got a lot of tradition. Keep it going. Now it's time to put up or shut up. All right? Everything you thought, everything you wanted is now on the line. No one's gonna give you anything. If you want it bad enough, you gotta take it. How bad do you guys want it? You guys want it fucking bad? Yeah! You ready to go? Yeah! Go! Yeah. 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 Wait us on three. Wait us on three! were ready for battle and couldn't wait much longer in their tunnels. The crowd already fired up. The stadium Electric with pre-game television coverage, anthems, celebrities, and promotions. But after all the build-up and all the hype, it was finally time for first contact, one of many that would follow that night. As expected, the Raiders opened the game with their star playmaker, Florian Grine. They ran him, threw screens to him, all against the biggest defense he faced all season. But he had a secret handicap that day, a torn ligament in his left knee. Still, he was the workhorse. Ja, durch das, dass ich ja schon, ich glaube, vier Spiele im Vorfeld gespielt habe mit dem Knie, habe ich eigentlich keine Risiken mehr gesehen, weil ich mir gedacht habe, ja, operieren muss ich so oder so. Und passieren kann im Prinzip auch nicht viel, weil ich habe eine gute Schiene und bin, bin gut vorbereitet auf die ganze Geschichte. On their second drive, the Raiders incorporated scoring machine Matt Epperson. His speed helps on special teams and reverse plays. After Florian Grind carried the Raiders offense into the red zone of the flash, Epperson got the call on a reverse. But disaster struck. His leg caught on the turf under a pile of players, damaging his ankle severely. Shock swept over the people of Innsbruck. At that moment, you can't dwell on the fact that you're missing one of your guys. The only thing you have time to think about is, what do we do now? You always do. You always have a backup plan. What we didn't plan on, it, it being Matt, I mean, we had a lot of our offensive plays circled around Matt, you know, to get a lot of the, the action. Him going down, putting a youth guy in for him, you know, everyone knew they had to step up a notch. But that's really the way we went all year. All year, we, we played and prepared and with the same mentality, to, no matter what it takes, we're going to get the job done. 29 yards. And getting the job done for a team accustomed to scoring touchdowns all season long meant turning to young kicker Emmanuel Trinkle. 
Trinkle put the Raiders up 3-0 in the first quarter. The crowd recovered from the shock of Epperson's injury and the French defense happy to hold the Raiders to just three points. And then the mighty Raiders defense showed its strength, not allowing the three flash running backs any room to run. Stopping the run was the number one priority for us. And I think we did a great job of that. You know, Tim, Gonzalo, Sonny, uh, Mario, all our linebackers, um, they all stepped it up and played a great job against the run. And adding to the tough defense, the French team committed turnovers, including this fumble by Patrice Cancel. Dropping the pitch allows the Raiders to roll out their offense one more time in the first quarter. The run set up the pass, and it was time to go to the air. Quarterback Jason Johnson would look over the middle to big Andy Proler, who, with Epperson out, would become Johnson's favorite target of the night. But it would be a team effort. Number 87, Julian Ebner, stepped in for the Hurt Superstar and made a number of crucial catches. And then there was number one, veteran Jakob Diplinger. But what nobody knew, he was injured this week and he didn't really have his normal burst. So when Johnson looked for him late in the first quarter, Diplinger simply didn't get there in time and the Raiders had to settle for a field goal again in the beginning of the second quarter. It helps you score, and that's what you want. You want to put scores in, you know, on the board. Um, with parents, you know, they're, they're really good. We knew they are going to be solid up front in the secondary and you know, we get as close as we can, we kick it and put some points on the board, and then it would give us the advantage, make them play chase. 